So I'm just going to tell you who I, where I think they should sign. For Blake, I think the best landing spot for him is actually Miami. Now, they have, like, a huge hole at, at power forward. I mean, they could bring back James Johnson. Uh, I just think that, you know, the pick and roll with Goran Dragic, the Heat finished 30 and 11 in their last 41 games last season. You know, you see this kind of arms race loading up in the West, then, you know, maybe moving East is kind of the best play for someone like Blake Griffin. So right. I think Miami would be actually a really good landing spot for him. What about Gordon Hayward? So I think he makes the most sense on the Celtics. And for a couple of reasons, not just in the short term, you know, in terms of then trying to make the next step in the Eastern Conference. You look at the Celtics next year, Avery Bradley's contract is up. Isaiah Thomas's contract is up. They won't have these assets forever. You know, Hayward can kind of be that bridge to the next iteration of what this team is going to be. He can be the kind of star that takes them, you know, the next three or four years. Are they going to want to give Isaiah Thomas $200 million? I'm not really sure. So I think Hayward is the best long-term move for them, not just for next season. I think dark horse things are I think they're going to extend Isaiah Thomas with a team-ish friendly deal this summer. Okay, keep well, going. Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap, that's a tough one. I, I think the Spurs may try to get in on Paul Millsap at this point. Uh, you know, they, they kind of lost out on Chris Paul, who is their, their big fish target. They're going to have to move, you know, either Tony Parker, Danny Green, or Marcus Aldridge, most likely two of them to sign a big free agent like that. But I think Millsap's probably their, uh, uh, you know, he'd be great in San Antonio. They need, I think he can kind of be their Draymond answer. I'm not saying he's going to stop Draymond Green, but he'll kind of help them downsize a little bit. All right, last one. What about Kyle Lowry? Kyle Lowry, this is tough. I know the Wolves are probably going to look at him. I actually like George Hill better for the Wolves. I think Kyle Lowry should actually re-sign with Toronto. I think that's his best bet. Uh, he's the best player on that team. He's better than DeMar DeRozan. Uh, I, I think he's endeared himself to that fan base. He's been inconsistent in the playoffs. I'm really curious if he's going to get a max deal. But I think Toronto, he should actually stay with the Raptors.